good morning y'all and welcome back to my channel this is weird i actually i just got my hair cut the other day and it is so short i think the shortest i've cut it in years so i'm like getting used to seeing myself with short hair but in a few weeks it'll grow to like the perfect length that i want it I am currently getting ready to head over to the beach. What's new? Are you surprised? Probably not. This weekend on Sunday, it is Easter. So I'm going over, a lot of my family's coming over to my house because we're gonna have like a big Easter lunch. Um, obviously go to church and all the things. So I'm packing up for that. But before that, my dad actually stopped over because we were doing a little project here at the house. I can show you, hold on one second. We installed this little like, I don't know if you can see, this little kitty door for Cupcake, my little kitty, to go out into the little porch area right there. And this tile, y'all should have seen it before. It was kind of embarrassing. It was literally brown. I didn't even know it was that light tan color because it was so dirty. So we sweeped and mopped. And then last night um, after work, I just went quick and got that little mat and then her a little bed to sit in out there I mean eventually I would like to get a cute table and like a chair or something to put in that corner so I can sit out there too but she normally will sit right here and just stare out or over here and just stare outside she wants to be out there so bad so I figured this cute little door that she can go in and out of and it closes on its own would be perfect for her so my dad came over installed that real quick um, and then went back home and I'm going to meet him back at home. I have my closet open. It's messy. Don't look in there. Trying to pick out some Easter potential options. These are like the three that I've narrowed it down to. Um, we're going to my parents' church, which is a Catholic church. So I was thinking I really like the long one. But the top is a little smaller, so I was like, yeah, I didn't know if that was a little dicey if I would get some old looks from some of, or some odd looks from some of the old people that go to church there. So I think I'm just going to go with that one. It's very spring, has a longer sleeve. It's not too short. It looks like it's a shorter dress, but it's not too short. And then maybe just some flats for Easter. And then, of course, packing your casual jean shorts, white t-shirts, um, and some bathing suits to lay out in. It's kind of hard to see, but I can't, if you can really tell, I literally got, it's going away now, thank gosh. But the last three days at work, everyone was like, Caitlin, you know better. Why did you not put sunscreen on? My face was fried. They're like, you're gonna peel so bad. I was like, guys, trust me, I don't peel. But eh, you can't really see, I'm peeling a little bit. And then the side of my nose like peeled off and now the skin's raw so that kind of hurts just a little bit so maybe i will take their advice and wear sunscreen um but the first burn of the season is always the worst and then i'll be fine the rest but i did bring a hat for this time i also ordered I think I left the book at home, but y'all, I have a book recommendation for you. I've been reading this series. Um, I think it's a court, a court of roses is the first one. I don't know, but I'm on the third one, a court of frost and starlight by Sarah Mass. So freaking good, highly recommend. This, I'm gonna warn you, this is like the smallest one I have this one, the next one after me. <laughs> Y'all are gonna laugh. Very big. And the third book that I just finished was like this too. But they're so good. Sorry, I have hair in my mouth. They're so good and definitely you'll get through them faster than you think for them being that big because they're like entertaining. It's more of like a, I compared it to like a Twilight type of vibe it's like sci-fi but romancy I don't know very good I think you should give it a shot if you're a reader I went through like all Colleen Hoover loved Colleen Hoover um but I needed to like switch it up and try something different because I ran out of options 
we are waiting for my brother's friend to get here to go down to the beach so i figured as i was getting all my stuff situated i could show you like a what i keep in my beach bag just at all times i first use <laughs> Rose no, using the lent bowl for her tripod. My tripod, I have a makeshift tripod behind me. I just use a little canvas bag because I just feel like it's easier. It's not, it doesn't get too heavy. I don't try to shove a lot of stuff in here. Hat first, always. As you can tell, last time I forgot the hat in the bag. I don't know. I got these. Look at his face. Like, this is what I get the other day. What is that? Damn. Look at this video. You'll like this reference. You're messing up my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, I forgot to put a hat in my bag last time, and that's why my face got so burnt. So I normally just keep a hat in my bag always, just in case I need it while I'm reading. This is like my sunscreen little things bag, so the stuff doesn't get lost. These little triangle bags that come with like the triangle bathing suits are the best for beach stuff or like a wet bathing suit or something like that so i always keep that in there and inside this little bag i have just whatever sunscreen i'm using at the moment this is the best face sunscreen the elta md so coming in here we've been using this one for years um it doesn't break you out it is increased i have it on my face right now and you can't see it doesn't leave a white cast or anything like that, and it normally it protects you. You just have to apply they, once, and it protects you for well. Are they checking? He, yeah, he's driving around like it's a holiday weekend. It's a Good Friday. Just chat by me. Fair. Well, Jess, I'm almost out. I just ordered some more. I just ordered them off of Amazon. They come pretty quick. What'd you order? Some more sunscreen. Sunscreen. Y'all know this. The stuff for my hair. Always. The ratchet hair. <laughs> Some, a few sunglass options, you know, whatever I'm feeling for the day. Oh, also, vital. Can you stop, please? Stop. Thank you. Stop. Sorry. Seriously. Sorry. <laughs> Chopstick. Sunscreen in it because literally burning your lips is the worst feeling. Tell them to park like. You normally sub them. Is that good too? Not like and then a hair tie. Right like I have one on my wrist right now, but just to after the beach, put my hair up uh, he, he, to keep getting a mess. Something back. Then I normally keep a hair clip, same reason as a hair tie. A little speaker to play some music. Book that I'm reading. Talk to y'all about. Highly recommend. And then a shove a towel in there. And then I normally bring just like a water bottle to have with me. Just a case. And that all fits in this little bag. Easy to transport. Fits all the things in it. Oh, also I normally keep I have I'm wearing them right now. But I'll always have a pair of just easy shorts to throw on over my jeans suit as a little cover up. And then just some rubber flip flops. I keep it there at all times. So that's a little beach essential bag that I always have handy. Cole's friend still isn't here. And I feel like it's like one o'clock. So I feel like we're missing out on some good sun opportunity. So I'm just gonna walk to the beach and let him have the golf cart so he can bring his boards down. Needed to get outside. I was sitting on the couch watching the Masters. Well, I can't complain because Masters is my favorite week of the year. Love, love me some golf. Bunny. 
genius. It's like they know it's Easter. Thought I'd show you today's Kini of the day. I went with some type of pastel Easter. Vibes, this suit is from Paxton like five years ago. I've had this suit for forever. And then I just paired it with some purple bottoms to match. And then these little shorts, my beach cover up shorts. Nothing, baby. Dad and I making our way. Post dinner. <laughs> Post dinner ice cream run. For a little slot treat. Coconut with a little chalk, like, yeah. Uh... You're pulling a mom right now. <laughs> coconut with the hot fudge and the nuts. I'm not doing hot fudge and nuts. I'm just going to do, like, coconut with, like, a chocolate. Like, it's like, oh, I'm a joy. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah. No way you say that. <laughs> A little crunchy. Not gonna lie. We both got peanut butter cup. Mine's melting really fast. Yeah, it was soft. Mm -hmm. It's honestly really good though. Those poor girls, they can't get out of there. Someone it's else show up? No. It's not a cup. I'm such a chocolate ice cream fan. If I'm gonna get ice cream, it's gonna be chocolate. Good morning, guys. I feel, oh, Cooper's coming to say good morning. I just woke up and I feel like the Krusty Krab right now. Like, my skin is so freaking dry. My eyes were literally like crusted shut. So lots of aloe and moisturizer today on my face. It is currently like 7.30. Oh my gosh, look, yeah, you can literally see. <laughs> um, 7.30 and I'm gonna go play pickleball this morning with my mom and some of her friends. So I'm gonna start waking up and getting ready to go play. Hopefully it'll stay. This will be the first time I'm putting my hair in a ponytail and actually keeping it in a ponytail since I cut my hair. I'm feeling these little front pieces are going to fall out. See, you can see in this lighting where my face. I look crazy. Let this be your warning to wear sunscreen. <laughs> my little pickleball fit. I'm gonna borrow one of my dad's shirts because I really brought this outfit for Orange Theory, but mom wanted to play pickleball, so I figured why not. And then my Hoka's. If you're in need of a running shoe, Hoka's, mine are dirty, disregard. The Hoka's are it, best shoes, love. Guys, we're ready. We got our pickleball rackets and our fancy pickleball bag. <laughs> Dominate. <laughs> Off to the courts we go. <laughs> we just finished pickleball and headed down to the ice cream shop to open it up because they're doing this like Easter egg, bunny hunt type of vibe thing today at the park across the street from us with a bunch of little kids. So we came down to open up, get the store ready to open. 
and then they were busy last night so they couldn't make dipped cones so I'm making some dipped waffle cones you just melt some chocolate spread it on here you try to do it evenly so it like looks good and then you take whatever topping we do sprinkles chocolate sprinkles and nuts and then you just coat the obviously why the chocolate is still drying so they stick and there you have it a tip little waffle comb you can get any flavor in my next task is putting these stickers onto these little sand pails like this so they look like this these like little fun toys doing them and they get to keep it and then like reuse it and just, like, you just take it stick it in the middle and we get new ones we obviously wash them oh that's the here's all the cones that I made drying they're a special weekend, like, special deal or whatever. So we just make them Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And once they're gone, they're gone. Until the next weekend. Tried to go get our nails done, but the place was so packed. So we're going to put that off for a different day. Before we leave next weekend. Um, but now we're just back home, sitting on the couch, watching the Masters. And we made some lunch. I just made and toasted a little salami sandwich with some pretzels and then my morning coffee that I never had this morning and it is now 1 o'clock. Okay, back for a little update. I never made it to the beach. I stayed on the couch, watched the Masters until they sounded the weather delay alarm cancellation for the day. And then I went and dropped my parents off and some of their friends at the wedding they're going to, so no one had to drive. And then I'm planning on picking them up tonight after the reception. And they're like, we may want to go out more, we may not, we'll let you know. So now I kind of plan on just hanging around at the house. I started a new Netflix series which I literally I haven't watched like TV like a series and I feel like over three months so I'm kind of excited just to watch TV and be lazy it's called I think the night night watch night or night something I don't know it's the new number one series on Netflix it's a little bit scary not gonna lie the first time I watched it I was by myself in my um, apartment and I was like, oh my God, someone's gonna come and kidnap me. Hold on momentarily while I park. I'm in my mom's car and it's like low-key a big car. I feel like I'm driving a bus every time I drive this car. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna watch some TV. Maybe go get dinner with my brother because he's on spring break right now like this week into next week for Easter. Um, Cause he goes to a Catholic school. So they align their breaks with like the holidays. So he's on spring break. So him and all his little friends have been running around. So I will probably go get dinner with them or make them dinner. I don't know, we'll see. Here's the little comfy fit that I put on some jean shorts these are actually i just got these from abercrombie they're their new dad shorts that they came out with and they have a cute little like slit in the side but i lo absolutely love the length of these i feel like these are the perfect length i feel like now i'm at an age where people look at me a little strange when i wear very short jean shorts and these are more comfier anyways and then just a white t-shirt that I kind of tucked under and tucked the sleeves just to give it that more little beachy casual feel and then I'll probably just put some sandals on I didn't really bring any shoes just casual for dinner drinks whatever we're doing
look at my face right now. It is glowing. I just, as you can see before, I had all like the scale. I literally looked like a fish. No, a mermaid. I was a mermaid from burning my skin. But like, it's a blessing and a curse. So whenever I feel like I literally fry my skin, it clears up like perfectly. But then I'm like, I'm going to pay for this later. But I exfoliated my face and it literally feels so soft. Like you can tell this is like fresh skin and it's like pink, like it's raw skin. Like it kind of burns a little bit, you know, but are you kidding me right now? I'm not telling you you should burn your face, but it did wonders for my skin. Cole and I on a little sister brother day. Top, top the merch. BatemanLevine.com I can't with you. We're off to grab some din. We're just staying local on the island and we're gonna go to I would say this is my fave spot here off the hook. <clears throat> just sit out on the water and watch the sunset. And we're also taking dad's car because he left it. Should we put the top down? I think we should put the top down. What? Yeah. I know. There's a latch right here. Pull it. I know, dude. Wait, I want to keep this up here. Okay. Um. Yeah. Push. Push. <laughs> All the way back. It's about as far as it goes. That is, yeah, that's as far as it goes. Without taking the whole thing off. I don't practice Santorina. Off we roll. No, don't put the windows down. I'm that's on. too much wind. I'm on ox. That's too much wind. I'm on ox. Mm. I can't see what's behind me. Mm. I'm a little scared it's going to rain, actually. <laughs> it's a little cloudy out right now, as you can tell. I think it might actually rain. This might have been a bad idea. You guys, that was such a bust. <laughs> Over an hour wait. That's what happens this time of year in our little local town. All the people come to visit and then all of our favorite restaurants we can't go to. So now we are going off the island. Off the island, over the bridge, to get some Mexican. Oh, my nose. A mug? Should I get a margarita? Sounds kind of good, actually. Strawberry margarita, frozen. Yep. I need one of them, Jones. <laughs> For prom? Yeah. Oh, and, no, stop. And video. Are you taking anyone? Cool. We um, need the tea undisclosed about your love life. Yeah. Undisclosed? Oh my god, guys, my hair. I'm still getting used to this. This is a little much for me. <laughs> okay, off we go. So, years ago, I was going That is like bigger than your face. Good morning. And happy Easter. It is currently 6.15 and we are all up and ready and we are going to sunrise service on the beach. Still waking up a little bit this morning. I am fully clothed in my parents' clothes. I have my dad's sweatshirt on and my mom's Lulu joggers on because I brought like a nice, y'all saw the dress that I picked out, fancy dress for mass, but we decided, we used to do this actually a while ago. We would go to the sunrise service on the beach. So we figured might as well do that this year. So we're about to leave to head down. It starts at 6.30. 
um, but it's literally just like right across the street, so they just have to walk across the street. And it's a little, a little windy this morning, so that's why we have long pants and long sleeves on. We just battled the um, the elements outside. Here's off, Cooper. I'm killing you. Oh, I'm gonna just set you up so you can see. Wait, Cole, come and sit over here. Come sit over here. No, come on. Come on. In. Come on. No. The Easter Bunny came for us. <laughs> oh. Look at the squishy. Caitlin, we're mashing now. I picked those out for you. You like those? I almost got the same ones. They had them in my size, so then I was like, is Cole gonna think it's weird if we're matching? Oh, heck yeah, W. Yeah. Whoa. Do you like the shoes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this baby too. That I picked out. Let's go. This Just what I needed. That's the right ones. Yep. There you go. Just Guys, go. if you're ever wondering, Marshall's is a hack. If you're ever wondering. No, because no, seriously, this this top 120, this bottom 120, the whole set 30 dollars. A Kendall Kylie bathing suit. I'm Marshall's. This is what I'm most excited for. Yay! She's so pretty. It's the 30 ounce. I have the 40 ounce, but it was, it's like really big. So the 30 ounce, I think like this will be perfect. And it's green, which is my new favorite color. This is the test. It's normally soup. Oh, it's mm. so pretty. Oh, it is so soup. You gotta put it in there. <laughs> put it back in. The mac and cheese. Oh, we think the mac and cheese is done? Yeah. Oh, it is done. Oh, oh yum. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi, vlog. <laughs> One dish done. The salad is done. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, the salad. The salad looks pretty, it's colorful. Grandpa was in charge of bringing the desserts. We got some cherry squares, <laughs> some pecan pie, and some pumpkin pie. Yes, we do. On popular opinion, I've never really liked pie. Nope, me you know? I'm a cake guy. Yeah, I never eat the pie. I think we might have to go get ice cream. It's turkey time. Turkey. Dad means business <laughs> with his car <laughs> What's that? That guy from the Halloween movie? Cole said that's Jeffrey Dahmer's. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. He said that. Slice. Well, we got no air going. We got ovens on it. I love you. Lord be with you. Heavenly Father, this is our day of days. The day you raised the Christ and you said for everyone who follows. And so we follow in that train. We thank you for that resurrection victory. In your person, here all forever. Amen. 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 Oh. Woo! Now we're Looks not, really good. We're not going to fight over the dark meat. You like the dark meat? Yeah. Well, no? Uh, no. Yeah. Kind of Caitlin. Actually, oh, let's, uh, we got 
Mac and cheese. Oh, ha ha. Oh, man, got it all. Outside. Looking good. Oh. Outside, there's no chairs out there. You want, you want to sit out here? No, it's, I, it's too windy, Grandma. Oh, our air conditioning. Guys, good morning. Good afternoon. I don't know. What time is it? It's 1.30. No, 2.30. This is going to be so rough. Tonight is my first night working night shift so my shift is from 7 p.m to 7 a.m and if you know me you know i am the biggest morning person there is i'm up at 5 a.m every day without an alarm and i'm in bed basically asleep by 9 30 at night so i'm a little nervous and a little scared for this i tried last night staying up till like 2 a.m. And then my plan was to sleep in this morning, but I literally woke up at 7 a.m. So I literally only got five hours of sleep last night and I'm about to be up for 24. I've tried to take a nap. Like I literally, I went this morning with my mom and got my nails done and then came home and was gonna plan to sleep from like 12 to 3.30. Um, and then I scheduled an Orange Theory class for 4.15, thinking it would, like, get me up, get me going. Normally, after I work out, I have more energy to then come home, shower, and get ready for work. But, of course, outside of our condo, they decided to cut a tree down and, like, shred it into mulch. So, that's what I've been listening to for the two hours I'm trying to sleep, as well as I have my curtains shut. And it's still like so bright in here. So that's another struggle. So I actually went online and I ordered like one of those silk sleep masks. Oh gosh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try and get into a group because it's not like, I mean, I don't have another choice. Like I, that's what I work night shift. So I'm gonna have to figure it out. But I feel like these first few weeks are gonna be a little rough especially because I'm just a natural morning person. Here is the little workout set that we went for today. Up and out of bed, didn't take a nap. So we're just gonna roll with being very tired tonight and drinking all the caffeine. So gonna go get my little workout in, come back, get ready to start my night. Just finished my workout and I'm walking back to the car. That was so freaking hard. Going along with the morning person, I'm also a morning workout. Like that's what I like to do the first thing when I wake up, like on an empty stomach workout. And so that afternoon was rough. I just feel like I have no energy. And like I literally was gonna pass out the whole class. Where'd I park though? Over here. So, I mean, tomorrow, technically, I guess I'll be wake, just waking up, so it'll be considered a morning workout. So maybe I'll get back in a groove. Whew. That was rough. And then I also didn't realize that now it's going to be like rush hour traffic because people are going to be getting off of work while I'm going into work. So I got to be quick. Eat something, change, head out the door. Um, I thought I'd go with the little pink theme that I was in today. My badge roll is pink, my nails are pink. My little scrubs are pink. Well, y'all, I survived my first night shift. Hold on. Currently been up for like 24 hours. I was open I just want to get inside a little delusional there for a second not gonna lie oh gosh the hours between one and three were definitely 
Oh gosh. The hardest. Let me take this off. The hours between one and three were definitely the hardest. I was just barely keeping my eyes open. And then I somehow got like a second win. As I suspected, I was not hungry. So I didn't really eat any meals. I did eat like some carrots and hummus just because I was like, if I don't eat anything, like that's just gonna make me more tired because I don't have any energy. Honestly, I'm literally just putting this back in the fridge because I'm just gonna. Use it tomorrow. Now I'm going to try and shower quick and then see if I can go to bed. I randomly got another weird burst of energy. I think because I went outside and the sun's coming up and everyone's out moving around that I feel like I should be awake and not going to bed right now but in order to be functioning and provide safe care to my patients tomorrow I need to get some sleep peace out good night good morning to y'all I'll catch back up with y'all at some point I guess if I'm still alive and well